Hey, this is Sarah Foster, um, Wild Earth Athlete. I am about to show you guys which shoes you would be selecting or running in if you have a wider foot or you just like that little bit of space to have your foot spread um, when you're running or if you're running long distances like me um, and you just want the best shoe for, oh, well, fit for purpose. So stick with me for my shoe choices. I've got a few different options at the moment. So for trail, I am absolutely loving the Ultra Mont Blanc. So um, as you can see, they're quite well worn, but they have a really nice uh, wide toe box, uh, super comfortable, super light shoe. Um, these are my favorites to run in on the trails at the moment. Um, if I'm not running in these guys, I'm running in the Ultra Olympus. So again, a nice wide toe box. Um, slightly more aggressive on the sole, but um, all in all a really nice shoe to wear as well. Um, and then I've jumped on the Hoka bandwagon as well. Um, so I've got a few different options there. If I'm running on the treadmill, I choose a nice um, high cushioned shoe just for the repetitiveness of my foot striking the belt and having had foot dramas in the past. Um, so I'm running in the Bondi 8s which is I'm pretty sure the most cushioned Hoka shoe that you can get. Um, and then if I'm running on the trail uh, and looking for a, a Hoka shoe I'm running in the Challenger at the moment so um, there's that shoe, again, super nice and wide across the front, allowing my foot to spread out as it hits the ground. And these guys are, I think, underrated. So it's the Hoka Stinson. Um, I love this shoe. It is like, um, probably these two are my picks. So the Ultra Mont Blanc or the Hoka Stinson. Um, really underrated super comfy, super responsive, really nice and cushioned. Um, so I'll use that on my long training runs if I'm running on like loose gravel or um, a harder surface that doesn't require such an aggressive, um, such an aggressive grip. And then I thought, well, while I'm sharing my shoes, I would share my choice of socks as well. So I run, if I'm running short, um, sort of anything shorter than say 50 kilometers, I'll run in this Stegen um, and just like a half crew sock. They're really nice and thin. Um, and again, <clears throat> my uh, my reason for choosing a wider toe box is if I'm going longer than 50, um, I like to wear a toe sock and the toe sock actually takes up a little bit more room than your normal sock. So um, if you're looking for something with a little bit wider to fit your toe socks that's not going to squish your foot, definitely try out the Ultra shoes or the Hoka shoes. 